a videotape of Glenn Bird West's performances at the sectional track meet held at Crown Dundee High School, which is up in Carpentersville. About 60 degrees out that day, kind of blustery wind. First event we'll have here is the high jump. Two entries for Glenn Bird are Dave Handley, who's a freshman, and Steve White, who's a senior. That's Dave Handley's attempt at 5'10. And this is Steve White. Steve's best this year had been six feet. He's feeling pretty good. Looks like it's going to be a, a good jumping day for him. <laughs> These field events are very critical. The boys get their steps to an exact point. And you can see on this attempt that Dave didn't quite have his steps right. So I did bail out and try one more time. That's Tom Strideberger trying to in the long jump. Had some difficulty also getting his steps. He had three scratches, each one about an inch. And just an average jump for him would have placed in the section. Dave Handley again in the high jump. Pretty good effort, just missed it by about an inch. Coach making sure that the boy, Tom Strideberger, gets on the board. We'll see where these instructions work. He hadn't been doing too well in the long jump in recent meets. Uh, the triple A seemed to be concentrating on. The two events are somewhat incompatible in that the movements are. Would the second flight of the shot put please report to the shot put fit at this time? Height, second flight of the shot put. Did scratch three times in the long jump, so I never got a jump measure. The pole baller's getting their instructions. The snow is not snow, it's cottonwood seats. Felt like snow though. Six with two jump, probably. These may be the six foot trials. The three boys that eventually made six two, and Steve tied for first. Here, the, the patch of grass right in front of Steve uh, is very muddy. I think it's sinking into a hole. That was a six foot trial. One more jump, and uh, he might be in business. He didn't know how high the boys would go. Some of the boys had six five and six six jumps previous to this meet. Steve White again with the high jump. Would all second flight participants in the discus 
Please report to the three discus at this before time. You're eliminated. There will be a meeting at 10:15 in the shed at the scoreboard end. Here's Tom's last jump. This wasn't a good day for jumping for him. Until the triple, triple, he did very well. Qualified for the state meet in the triple jump. <coughs> Seated uh, high jumper from Montini. I think Pitlick, uh, the number one seed, had gone six seven prior to this meet. Now the jumping is not going very well, so the first one that clears the bar has a chance to win. Since ties are broken by the number, the fewest number of misses you have. Wait, second jump. Steve makes it on his second jump. Only one to clear the bar so far. Montini boy came on to make it. Now they're trying it six four, I believe. tied for uh, second place with uh, two other guys. And the temp. Here's that he is uh, tied for second only with uh, one other person. To clear the height. Only two go unless they make the 6-4. If, if they make 6-4, they all go to the state meet. Final attempt. Dominic Canada, Larkin, Brad Miller, Roger Smith, Hurdles. Streamwood, Dick Lauber, Wheaton North, Rich Casey. Local school record this year in the hurdles for sophomores. Jump off attempt. Now we're involved in a jump off to determine who's going to get the first place medal. These two boys, Bitlick from Montini and White from Glenbard West, had tied for first. First one to miss a height as the bar is lowered from 6 4. Is he eliminated? Steps for the long jump. There's no way the boy can 
boys can jump well. Attempt at a tiebreaker. To the lower height on a uh, tiebreaker. Probably about six feet. Tempo right at the end. You can see Steve at this point now a little tired and slowing down right before he jumps. are reminded that there is to be no jewelry worn during competition. All contestants are reminded, no jewelry during competition. Lane two, Club Escudero from Wheaton North. Lane Shot putters over there. four, Jim Crampton, Glenbard West. And lane seven, Eric Jacobson, Dundee Crown. It's a 100 meter dash. Eight qualifying for the finals meant that the first two get to come back. Jim's in lane four. The number one seed, or two seed, was in lane five, scratched out before the race. First year in track, did a remarkable job, especially considering he played tackle in football. They may change his position next year. Central. That's how it turns out. Lane seven, big, Mark Ellsworth, Madison Trail. Lane eight, Frank Russo, Glenbard South. Scott is a junior in lane four. from Wheaton North, Lane 4, James Lackland from Wheaton Central, Scott Lane 5, Brad Miller Hellers. from Glenbard Brad North, here runs Lane 6, Royce Mitchell from Glenbard North, Lane 7, Dave Smith from Larkin,
may hurdle people off the track. Slow you to the two mile. 3,200 meters with a meter track, eight laps. It's a 3,200. Our best at that distance this year was Greg Kalia, who's running in second position now. He's a freshman. Unfortunately, the last three weeks of the season, he ran with a broken arm. We're kidding about doing weight training as he's running around the track. The cast must weigh five to ten pounds. Boys would run any faster than 10:28 coming in this heat, and Greg is seated about second or third. of the high jump the second quarter. in fifth they place continue that. with a jump of five feet, in eight inches, and three place. Stay class. With a jump of six feet, two and three quarters inches from Glen Bard West, Ten, Steve 20. White. And the winner with a jump of six feet, two and three quarters inches on fewer misses on a jump off from Montini, Jim Pitlick. Triple jump now. Terry. Results of the long jump in fifth place with a jump of 19 feet 8 inches from Glenbard South, Romez Villalobos in fourth Greg place with a jump third. of 20 feet 1 inch to go. from Fenton, Clint Porter. In third place with a jump of 20 feet 1 and 3 quarters inches from West Chicago, Juan Gonzalez. In second place, with a jump of 20 feet, 4 inches no, from Addison's Addison Trail, Adam Hill. Full summer running. And the winner, with a jump of 20 feet, 7 and a half inches from St. Charles, in Bob Coss. Average around between 5 and 10 miles a day, 7 days a week, just to keep trim and keep your bodies in shape. That was a pretty good freshman bench. Glenbard West, Lane 6, Steve Miller, Batavia, 
Lane seven, and Mike Howard, Frank Jack, Lake Park. It was the other Lane eight, Tony Weckett from Lenbard North. Seated so that the best runners are in the middle of the track. So I'm down the number one seat scratch now. Terry's first try at 12-6. Terry trying for his second ball now. First attempt in that event. At 13 to qualify, unless the team can run faster than 802. Their best has been 812. We thought they might go 86 today if they ran well, which would have been very close to.
12, 6, or 13. with no difficulty. This is Tom's second uh, triple jump. At this point, Tom Strayberger still hasn't qualified for anything in the state meet. He needs pressure starting to build to get a good, good jump in here. Which again, can only work if his steps are correct. Participants should report to the bullpen area at the south end of the track at this time. All participants in the 3200 meter relay, please report. He's already, yeah, 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 well they weren't ready. I guess we're gonna try one more jump. Sophomore baller from Lindmark West, trying for 13 feet, roping height. Which can't be accomplished unless the steps are correct. participants in the finals now. Coaches and non-participants to leave the infield area, get behind the fence. All coaches and non-participants to get outside of the infield right now. All curve judges and exchange judges, please be prepared to report to your areas. St. Charles, position two, Wheaton Central, and in alley four, position one, Glenbard West. The state qualifying time for the 3200 meter relay is 802.2. The Dundee Crown Bowl record, 756.2. Set in 1978 by Palatine Frem. The relay is 201. Second call, 3200 meter run. First call, 110 meter high hurdles. Mark ran 
at 202. in this race if you are not warming up you should not be inside the fence the infield or the track please remove yourself at this time just red just Judges, please raise your white flag if everyone's ready on your turn. Please raise the white flag if you're ready. First shot at 13-6 uh, uh, and a quarter state qualifying. And Brad Miller's first attempt at 13-6. Just 
sorry, at the end of them, double metal carry them over. Hey, Terry, give me a victory smile. Participants in the 110 meter high hurdle finals. Dennis Shavat, Wheaton Central. Roger Mitchell, Glenbard North. Brad Miller, Glenbard West. Scott Enninger, Glenbard West. James Lackland, Wheaton Central. Keith Hershey, St. Charles. Mark Ellsworth, the, the four by one hundred relay. And Dave Smith, Glenbard was seated second. Wheaton North is seated first. Those people should Glenbard begin to move to the lane. bullpen area at this time. Five. Wheaton North be in lane. Glenbard be in lane four, I believe. Best time this year is 42.7. Boys not only trying to qualify for the state, but break the school record. They're one tenth of a second off. Everybody. Scott Ellinger will be first. Again, the straightaway will pass it off to Kurt Bandemir. Wait north in lane five. Is going to pull back here. Kurt will pass to Craig Rao, also a senior. Six. That ties our school record. Glenbard South, Jim Crampton, Glenbard West, Kurt Newingham, Lake right. Park, Watt Scott, Glenbard six. South, and Clom Escurdo from Wheaton North. Those people should report to the bullpen area for the 100 Dash Finals. Out of way. Must be 13 6. In the sectional track meets, the first and second place teams in each event in the relays qualify. First and second individuals in each event qualify. And then the state has established standards. If you meet the standards, you can also go to the state meet. As many as six or eight athletes in a strong event is given sectional can advance to the state meet. Record 43.0 and sectional record 42.3. In fifth place with a time of 44.3. West today, Chicago. Fourth place with a time of 43.7. Wheaton Central. Third place in a time of 43.5. Addison Trail. In second place. Very difficult breaking the Dundee Crown Bowl so record with a time of 42.6, Glenbard West. And in first place yeah, with a new Crown Bowl record with a time of 42.5, Wheaton North. No, that's two laps to go. It'll be 30. Two laps to go. In the shot put. Yeah. In fifth place with a throw of 46 no, feet, 11 and a half inches from Larkin, Kevin Coleman. 13, six, for in fourth feet. place with a throw of 47 feet, four and one quarter inches from Glenbard West, Tom Gallardi. Third place with a throw of 47 feet, four and one half inches from Streamwood, Brian Cabasa. In second place with a throw of 49 feet, seven inches from Wheaton North, Dave Bank. And the winner with a throw of 52 feet, one and three quarter inches from Wheaton North, John Wachter.
This is Terry's first attempt at 14 feet. Chevrolet looks like Central. that. They probably were lane two. Roger Mitchell, Glenbar North. Otherwise, they get north. Lane three, Brad probably Miller, off the Glenbard ground. West. Doesn't work right. Lane four, Scott Enninger, Glenbard West. Lane five, James Lackland, Wheaton Central. Lane six, Keith Hershey, St. Charles. Lane seven, Mark Ellsworth, Addison Trail. Lane eight, Dave Smith. Larkin. The state qualifying time for the 110 meter high hurdles is 14.7 seconds. The Dundee Crown Bowl record is 14.1, set by Pat McGee from Aurora East in 1984. The sectional That's record the is 14.1, 14 set feet. by John McClushen, Elk Grove in 1977. The best sophomore involved in the state, and certainly one of the better ones in the Midwest. Attempt at uh, 14 feet. Would Jim Arnold, Coach Jim Arnold from Glenbard West, report to the press box, please? Coach Jim Arnold, report to the press box. Mr. Miller. 
Hundred ten meter high hurdles. Lane one, Dennis Chavalt from Wheaton Central. Lane two, Roger Mitchell, Lombard North. Lane three, Brad Miller of Lombard West. Lane four, Scott Enninger of Lombard West. Lane five, James Lackland, Wheaton Central. Lane six, Keith Hershey, St. Charles. Lane seven, Mark Ellsward, Edison Trail. And lane eight, Dave Smith of Larkin. Wheaton Central athlete was the second fastest time. Move the hurdles off the track. Move them to the area for the 300 lows. Scott had a winning time of 14.6. His best this year was in 14.4. Brad's first attempt at 14 3. Concessions at the concession but stand at the south end of the track brought to you by the Dundee time. Crown Booster Club. Otherwise, the best course of action. of the 110 meter high fourth place with a time of 15.3 from St. Charles, Keith Hershey. 
in third place with a time of 15 flat from Glenbard West, Brad Miller. Second place with a time of 14.9 from Wheaton Central, James Lackland. Was then set at, uh, and the 14, winner with a time of 14.6 from Glenbard West, Scott Enninger. Correction, that is Scott Ellinger from Glenbard West. Final attempt at explain the delay the coaches had agreed upon a time schedule for this meet and committed themselves to stay to that time schedule for the benefit of the athletes therefore all of the events will be run at their proposed Cedric Simmons of Larkin, position four, Ivan Romero of Fenton, alley three, position one, Bill uh, Merrick, Glenbard West, one is position two, John Manuel Streamwood, boys, position two, three, uh, Ryan Brooke McMahon of Geneva, in alley four, Bill Merrick is in heat one, the results of the 100 meter dash, the state qualifying time in the 100 meter dash is 10.8 seconds. The bowl record, Dundee Crown Bowl record 10.5, held by Tony Cranick of Maine West in 1977. The sectional record 10.6, held jointly by three people, bon Bob Ulrich of Hinsdale Five Central in 1950, Bob Schindel, East Aurora in 1956, and Jim Rizzoni of Addison Trail in 1976. In fifth place, with a time of 11.3, Phil Henry of Wheaton North. Fourth place, a time of 11.1 from Glenbard South, Watt Scott. In the second heat of the 800 meter run, in alley one, position Jusek from Geneva, position three, John Dunn, Addison Trail, alley three, position one, Mike Roberts, Wheaton Central, 
Position two, Dave Ross. Competing today. Blake Park. Steve White in the Position high jump. three, Doug Ross. Two half milers. Batavia. Alley four. Position one, Kevin Madak. Glen Bard South. Position two, Five Joe seconds. Powica, St. Francis. Position three, Paul Wecker, Wheaton North. In fourth place with a vault of 13 feet from Lake Park. Lake Park. with a Mike vault of 13 feet, left. six and a half inches from Glenbard West, Terry Feely. In second place with a vault of 14 feet from Glenbard West, Brad Miller. And the winner with a vault of 14 feet from West Chicago, Greg Upshaw. Seated runner and all around the curve, we got fairly good position here. race coming up will be the 4x200 relay. Decided to run in this because of the Crown Bowl record 46 Crown feet held by soon. Rodney Ezell of Larkin in 1985. And, and the sectional record 45 feet 9 and a quarter inches set by Rodney Ezell of Larkin in 1984. In fifth place with a distance of 40 feet 7 and 3 quarters inches from St. Charles, Mike Lenoy. So we ended up with the first place. Off, two sophomores in the middle. The distance of 41 feet, just three and three quarters inches point. from West Chicago, M. Blackwell. This is when we made a second guess. In third place, the distance of 43 feet, seven inches Doug from Addison Trail, Adam Hill. In second place, with a distance of 44 third feet, line. eight Brown's inches pick. from Glenbard West, T. Straightberger. And in the first place, with a new Dundee Crown record, Dundee Crown Bowl record, and a new sectional record, with a distance of 46 feet, five and one half inches from Larkin, Rodney Ezell. In lane one, St. Charles. Lane two, Wheaton Central. Lane three, Geneva. Lane four, Wheaton North. Lane five, Glenbard West. Lane six, Glenbard South. Lane seven, Streamwood. And in lane eight,
Got the large stagger because they run their lanes all the way. It's difficult to see who's in what position in this field. Getting the inside caught up in Plays out the pass from Wayward. That's Kurt Vandermeer in the second line. Tom Strayberg, sorry. Time ran pretty quick. First or second qualifies automatically and then third or fourth, whatever, gets past on time, they qualify for the time where they're too fast and set by Wayward Art, they run a brilliant race. Steve also had a sound down on the other side of the track for the 301, John McGowan of St. Francis. Lane two, Bob Ganya of Addison Trail. Lane three, Mark Petrakovitz of Willowbrook. Lane four, Eric Filkin of Wheaton Central. Favorites in lane five, Jim Crampton, Glenbard West. Lane six, Kevin Rollwing, Larkin. Lane 7, Peter Schauer of Streamwood. Lane 8, Scott Finson of Geneva. Number 1 seed had a 49-2 time going into the meet, and Jim had a 49-5, and both ran just about the same.
exciting race. There are eight barriers. We're seated one and two in this. Ellinger and Raul are going to screen next to each other. Staying tight on every hurdle all the way around. When they got done up with the fish, they would never win. Where they're taking an extra step to get their good lead leg. If they're taking one less step, wrong leg. Hurdle workers, please remove the hurdles from the faster. track. 38.6 for both athletes. Correction on alley one, position three, Kyle Kuhn of Geneva. That was Scott's best time up to this point. Greg had run 37.9 once before. Sixteen hundred meter run. Big Talbot in slow heat. Next, next to last at the break point. We got a problem while you're carrying too much weight and trying to run distances. You got to be skinny, thin, and heavy muscle athletes. Nice to run. Very, very strong. I have a difficult time running distances. Is the fastest mile has Mark Kaczerski, a sophomore in it, Lombard West. 
Seated seventh or eighth. Oh boy. That's on my even four thirty one. There's a 200 meter finals. Ron Crack has got into the finals easily. Well, at least, you know, he was close enough so he had a good Well, he was 211 and a half. Stars in Illinois. in the 1,600-meter run. 
I'm staying later on this third turn here. Yeah, I'm going to come to the I'm going to come to the I'm going to come to the
26-4, Addison Trail. Third place with a time of 3.25.7, Streamwood. Second place with a time of 3.24.2, Glenbard West. And first place with a time of 3.24.2, Wheaton North. Wheaton Central in second place with 52 points. Wheaton North and the 1984-85 Dundee Crown sectional champion Glenbard West with a score of 56 points. Would uh, Coach Jim Arlen, a representative from Glenbard West, please come to the press box. Coaches are reminded that the results will be here in 10 minutes and your packets up here with medals and information are up here at the press box.